Weld fume guns have been in the market for at least three decades. God knows I know I've been around that long myself. Just about every manufacturer today makes a weld fume gun. Unfortunately, weld fume guns have gained a bad rap based on ineffective design and poor extraction systems. Uh, some of the general views of these guns are that they're bulky, they're heavy, they're not very flexible, and they cause problems with porosity by extracting a shielding gas that is there to protect the arc. While many manufacturers today continue to exhibit uh, some of these fe features in their products, uh, we've largely overcome them with a new design that allows maximum airflow and very high performance extraction systems. In the end, we're introducing a gun and an extraction system that has the highest flow rates in the industry to give you the overall best performance. The Ergomax line of weld fume guns offer the following key features. 400 and 500 app capacity at 60% duty cycle. Standard lengths from 12 to 20 feet. 60 degree, 45 degree, and 45 degree long necks. Euro style or direct connect designs for Miller, Lincoln, and Tweco feeder ports. Ball joint flex connections at the base of the handle for enhanced manipulation and easier operation. A nylon handle for exceptional durability. This nylon will just not crack like other types of polymer materials. A vacuum relief latch for confined joint operation where you might risk porosity due to the extraction of shielding gas. High quality consumables, chrome zerk contact tips and nozzles for exceptional consumable life. Due to the unique shape and design of the handle, this gun appears bulky. However, with this design comes the highest airflow rates in the industry at up to 120 CFM, cubic feet per minute. These guns can meet OSHA's hex chrome PELs and ALs, permissible exposure levels and action levels quite easily based on that higher flow rate. They can also meet the ACGIH manganese recommendations of 0.02 milligrams per cubic meter. Due to the high airflow rates, it allows us to position the capture ports or the fume shroud farther from the end of the gas nozzle. This helps reduce the risk of porosity. Last but not least, the weight of this gun is quite surprisingly not as heavy as a standard air cool gun of similar capacity. As you can see in the video, we're slightly less in weight than many of the fume guns that you'll still find in the market today. Okay, so proof is in the pudding. As we promised earlier in the video, while we can run 220 to 250 amps on this thing and it performs very well, let's really push this thing to the limits. Let's see what Mike can do at approximately 350 amps and 29 volts. By the way, that's wire feed speed. Okay, here we go. Now, while that last demo was pretty impressive, I mean, that's hard to imagine with, we got that much capture at 350 amps, but I kind of feel like we're cheating. When you look at fume extraction videos on the market, we've even done it ourselves, we're extracting the fume using a standard fillet, 90 degree fillet. However, the real challenge is being able to capture that rate of fumes using doing lap welds or corner welds or vertical up fillet welds. We're going to do a lap weld, which isn't so easy in and of itself and we're gonna run it at the same welding parameters. Let her rip, Mike. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you liked what you saw. Please like, we'd love to hear your comments, and subscribe if you want to become part of our team. Thank you very much.
Oh, my God.